ECDL Advanced, Excel, Lesson 12, Worksheet and Cell Protection. Now before we start this particular lesson, I'm hoping you've actually looked through in detail the Lesson 11, which is entitled Protection. What this does is explain varying levels of protection that can be applied to workbooks, which include passwords, cell locking, making read-only workbooks, and also preventing changes on worksheets. Please look through that before we start, and then we're moving on to Lesson 12. And for Lesson 12, as mentioned, we're going to be dealing with worksheet and cell protection. So let's begin. Worksheets can be protected with passwords so that no changes can be made to the locked cells within them. By default, all cells on a worksheet are locked, but this has no effect until worksheet protection is activated. So it's a two stage process. To allow changes to be made to some cells but not others when the worksheet is protected, it is necessary to unlock the editable cells prior to adding the protection. This is often used when providing a spreadsheet for other users for data entry. All titles and formulas are locked to prevent changes, and only the cells where data is to be entered are unlocked and therefore accessible. OK. We're opening here the workbook invoices. To protect the worksheet from changes, go to the Home tab, click within the Cells group, select Format, and then select Protect Sheet. As an aside, another way to display this dialog box is to select File, Info, and then click Protect Workbook. And from here, what we can do is to select Protect Current Sheet. OK. Entering a password is optional, though do be careful when using passwords as access to protected worksheets is prohibited without the password. Check that caps lock is off, and then type pass in lowercase, and then click OK. Then re-enter the password to proceed, and then OK. If we click on any cell and try and enter some data, let's try that. We will find that no changes can be made to any cell on the worksheet. Excel displays the following message. Click OK. To remove the protection, display the Format drop-down list and select Unprotect Sheet. Enter the password PASS, and then click OK, and this will remove the worksheet protection. So let's try that. It allows the change to be made. To allow changes to cells on a protected sheet, the required cells must first be unlocked. So let's select the range E6 to E14. These are the cells that may be changed after protection has been added. So let's display the Format drop-down list again, and this time click Lock Cell. The protection of the range is now unlocked. Having unlocked the required cells, to take effect, the worksheet has to be protected, 
So let's reprotect the sheet. Format, protect sheet. Password, don't forget, was pass, P A S S, and then press OK. Again to confirm. Now let's move to E7 and change the contents to 1500. As we can see, formulas in locked cells change automatically. Now let's move to F7 and try and change the VAT to £250. This cell is locked. Only the amount column may be changed. That is the range E6 to E14. That was the range that was unlocked previously. Click OK. Let's change cell E10 to £750. This is allowed as the cell is unlocked. OK, that's the end of this lesson. If you close the workbook invoices, no need to save the changes. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we're going to be discussing hiding rows and columns. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.